Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how to use this really cool and awesome resource I found on the Unreal Engine 4 uh, forums. So what this is, it is a dynamic crosshair that you can use for your FPS game. And this crosshair is going to be bound to your player's velocity so when you move forwards it's going to get bigger as you can see it in the picture here which is great. Now just to give uh, credit to the original original author for this material, it was created by one of the moderators on the Unreal Engine 4 forums called Osman. Anyway, so what I've done is I've downloaded that file and I've actually included it in the FPS assets. Now inside of here you can see I've now got this dynamic crosshair.uasset file. What I need to do with this is pretty much just manually drag it into my project files and then use it and set it up in the engine. So don't worry about opening up your engine just yet, close it down. Grab this file from the latest version of the files and then go to your Unreal Engine 4 project wherever that's going to be in your file browser. For me that's in my hard drive, Unreal Engine project, uh, Projects, FPS Tutorial and the place that I want to put it in is in Content, Third Person BP and in the Blueprints folder and I'm just going to drag and drop it or pit, copy and paste it just like that and just drop it in here. Once you have done that just go ahead and open up your engine and then hopefully it should be all imported. So what I'm going to do is quickly pause the video and I'll get back when the engine is open. Okay so the engine is open and what we need to do now then is just make sure that our asset is imported into our engine. If you go into your blueprints folder, the place where you pasted it in, you should now have an asset, a blueprint widget called WB Crosshair. And if you open this up, just double click it to open it, you should have a couple of elements in there along with a couple bits of blueprint code. So in the main design view on the left hand side in the hierarchy tab, you should have a bottom right left and top uh, section. And if if you zoom in there's some little bits there they're, they're not very visible at the moment don't worry about that um, but if you go over to the graph view inside of this you should have all of this blueprint stuff and what this is doing is just feeding all of this information and blueprints into these three variables so you've got your crosshair thickness your length and your spread and if you wanted to you could manually set each and every one of these or you could even feed information into these to make it dynamic which is what we're going to be doing we are going to be showing you how you can change the spread based on the player's movement. So let me start off by getting this displayed on the player's screen and then we can play around with some of these variables to make it look the way that it should do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my third person character and what I'm going to do is simply tell it on begin play to spawn in this little widget of ours. So I'm going to find my begin play node. Um, if you want to find it, just right click, type in begin play, and then it's pretty much just going to snap you straight over to this little node as you can only have one. Now you can see here I've got create widget for FBS HUD. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to tell it to also create a widget for the, uh, the little crosshair as well. So WB crosshair. And then with this, just add it to the viewport and just hook this up in between here, just like that. And one other thing we're also going to do is I'm just going to move these along just to get myself a little bit more space. And between add to viewport on the create widget, I am simply going to promote this to a, vi uh, to a variable so that we can access it nice and easy later on. Simply going to call this crosshair reference just like that and then I'm going to hook it up in there. So just put this in here and then with this what we can do now then basically with this crosshair reference if I was to say drag it out get a reference what I can do is simply set crosshair spread length thickness all from the third person character which is brilliant. So now that it's on the screen, well it should be on the screen anyway, just press play just to double check that and then it should come on. It should be quite small and not so thick, it should be tiny, um, that's just because of the default settings but you can see we've got that in there. Now as of right now you can see we've still got our old crosshair so what you might want to do is quickly just go into your FPS HUD widget and then simply just delete the old image as we won't be needing this anymore and then if we hit play now you can see it's disappeared and we've got this tiny little new crosshair. I think this is a bit too small at the moment so I'm going to change the thickness and that good stuff. So the way I'm going to do this is by closing everything and then I'm going to open up my crosshair widget 
go to my graph so I can access all the variables and what I'm going to do is change the length and the thickness. I'm going to change my thickness to something like 6 and then maybe change my length to something like 15 to make it a little bit longer. So if I press play now, you should be able to see this sort of start to come to life. You can see my little boxes have got longer. So I think 15 is still a bit too short. Maybe let's set this to 30 instead. Hit play. And you can see it's starting to get bigger and that looks quite nice. I think it's a bit too thick. So what I'm going to do is change my thickness down to say 4 instead. Hit play and you can see that looks quite nice. So, what we need to do now then is pretty much show you how you can get this to expand based on the player's movement. It's really simple and really easy to do. So let's see if we can do this. So, I'm going to close my uh, crosshair widget for now and I'm going to go back into the third person character as that is what actually contains all of my information for the player's movement. So what I'm going to do is essentially from my event tick you can see I've got my sequence node over here what I'm going to tell it to do is to simply update that spread from the crosshair reference based on the player's velocity so I'm going to drag this out just to give me a bit more room go to then one and then from here what I'm going to do is set crosshair reference um, sorry no I don't want to do that so what I'm going to do is get a reference to crosshair and then from here set crosshair uh, spread which is the one that's going to make it expand hook this up to then one and then from this what I'm going to do to feed in some information is I'm going to start off by getting the actor velocity so get velocity and this velocity is going to be for your character blueprint the one that you're in at the moment and then what we're going to do with this is drag it out and type in vector length just so we can we can convert and use this into a float and then what we're going to do is map range clamped and then just hook the return value for this into your crosshair. Now what we also need to do is just put some values into here to control the amount of spread based on that velocity and stuff. Now I'm just going to use the values provided on the forum post because I know they work well. You can try and figure them out, play around with some of the values to get the look and the style that you're after. But what I'm going to do is just 0 for the top one, then I'm going to use 450 then I'm going to use 5 and then I'm going to use 80 just like this and now if I compile this press play and you can see when I start moving the spread of my crosshair gets a little bit bigger and it looks quite nice and I'm very very happy with that anyway guys that's pretty much everything for the dynamic crosshair hope you guys have enjoyed this just as much as I have and once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy Virtus signing out this series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.